chicken for lunch, eh? Yes, ma'am. It's gonna be perfect, because this is a rainy, wet, nasty winter day. That's right. And we just cold all of our roosters. That's right. <laughs> Time for cold cool right? We're gonna be outside for a bit today, having to work in the rain, so it'll be nice to come in to some nice roasted chicken. Whatever you're gonna do with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna roast it. Okay. But that would be delicious. It would be. What are you gonna do with it? So we culled the roosters, and now it's time for some good old fashioned rainy day chicken and rice soup. So while we're out at the barn today doing some work, getting cold and wet. This will be simmering away in the stock pot in the kitchen. And hopefully we get to come into a, a nice warm lunch. What do you guys think of the rain? <laughs> you staying dry in here? Oh, what a mess. So much rain. We gotta deal with this, don't we? Yeah, well, we've put up the hay storage, and yes. this was our winter quarters for the last couple years. Yep, three years. Yeah, it served us well, but we're changing things around now and making them more permanent. So we're gonna take out all the metal gates. Yeah. Which I know you've been looking forward to. Yes, I want the barn area to just feel natural, to feel like it flows with the rest of the property. Yeah. And that means wood and texture, so the metal gate's gotta go. The good news is that even with all this rain, it's staying dry inside the quarters. We separate the calf every night. For milking, CC. that's right. So that we can have milk in the morning. That's right. So we need a place to, to separate them out, which is what we've been using this for, but. Right. Now we're gonna just slightly redo it and make it look more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. And not just utilitarian. Yeah, utilitarian. buddy. That's my love language. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a place for just the straight utility. Yeah. Because we needed a place for them to be. That's right. But this will be clean, beautiful, and dry. Yeah. As three much as that's a three barn. birds with one stone. That's right. All right. Well, let's get these rails up and um, take down the ugly, shall we? Let's do it. Hey, honey, you're doing a great job. Thanks. Do you know that acts of service is my love language? I did not know that. You're filling the tank, baby. Filling the tank. These should feel very loved. Oh, you? I'm feeling the love, I man. Should, I have basically an, an infinite reserve of love stored up already. <laughs> That's right. Pasties. 
Sometimes things work temporarily, but not so much permanently. <laughs> Farm's a good reflection of just life in general. Constantly. Constantly evolving, Changing. isn't it? Yeah. It is. Shifting, updating. Reprioritizing. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose that's kind of part of the fun. You get to constantly reinvent things. Well, if you, we weren't doing it with this, be doing it with no. something else. That's true. That's just part of human nature. So now, instead of having this whole area divided and sectioned up, we just have one big, beautiful, open area for the animals. a little bit more cleanup and we'll be able to create a little dry section over here for lambing and for separating the calf at night for milking. Stu, your shop's looking great. <laughs> it's getting there. That'll be fun to frame that in. Sometimes it has to get worse before it gets better. Soon there will be a shop here to mirror the hay storage on the other side of the barn. We're getting there. Tell me this, would you rather be doing this job in the rain and mud or in the snow? <laughs> actually, probably in the snow. Yeah. yeah, it's a little cleaner actually. What is this, Stu? Sunshine. What is this warm, golden blanket covering the poo-filled barn? Do you feel that, animals? Can you feel that sunshine? Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. That looks good, Stu. You like it? Yeah, I love it. I love the wood so much more than the metal. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. This is great. Good. You Hamish likes it. Completely finished yet. But let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny. How this in theory will work. Hopefully also in practice. <laughs> It better work because we got to se separate the calf tonight. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, so these are permanent rails right here. Yeah. And uh, this, I staggered them so that this, these can slide on these. I also, um, I put these up with a little bit of gap, extra space. Yeah. So that, um, so that it wouldn't bind up. Okay. It. So it's got just a little extra space in there. Okay. Let me move this stuff and see. Let's see what we see. Right now they can get under, but I'll fix that. Well, like a kicker board or something there. Mm -hmm. So it should just be easy enough. Pick up and slide. But what I'll do over here is, because um, right now if you slide it, it'll 
it'll like kick out, you know? Okay. So I'll just put another board on, on this side of it. Make sense? No, but that's fine. It doesn't need to. As long yeah, as it makes... I'll put one of these on this side so that way it won't flop over. I see. You slide it, but you'll basically be able to just... Just pick it up and slide it. Pick it up and slide it. Right. Cool. Because for the most part, it'll be open. Huh? Yeah. Sweet. Like Ooh. Smooth like butter. And um, if you wanted to, you could grease those uh, pieces of wood. Just put some grease on them and it'd slide no problem. Cool. Well, we might just put some grease on the top of those. And, cool. And um, it'll slide Looks good. And then we'll just chain it. And... Not bad for a rainy day project. Yeah. Yep. So, metal's right. gone. Gates up. Sweet. I just need to finish it. I need to put one more board on it to keep it secure. That's well, let's do that. All right. Do we have another board? Yeah. Sweet. Yep. Well, it can just stay about that close, too. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? But yeah, we'll grease it. It's harder going, going further. Sure. This looks good. Yeah. We've got a dry place to put the cow. Yep. We've got a dry place for the used to lamb when it's time for that. Now, it's time for us to get dry. Time for some sus some time for lunch. some sustenance. <laughs> time to get out of the rain. Time to get out of the rain. So looks like the rain is pretty warm cool. our bellies a bit. They stopped. All right. Yeah. This is nice. It's much more open. Yeah, this is great. Yep. I love it. Good. A little bit of cleanup still to do, but yes, we're getting there. Ooh, some rays of sun. Are still cold? Yeah. Are yours? No, mine are good. But they were working pretty hard up there. I was working just in a different way. <laughs> Some of these carrots we stored are so small they're hard to peel. We're in our last box of stored carrots. But enough for today. You can smell where this is going already, can't you? It smells really good. Parsnips, carrots. Mm. I love parsnips. About to get into some onions. The first time I ever had parsnips, I was in Coventry, England, staying with my friends, aunt and uncle, Aunt Helen and Uncle Morris. And she made us roasted parsnips. It's a very with, distinct taste, parsnips. Yeah. I'd never had them before, but I loved They're beautiful. them. Beautiful. They're really beautiful. Yeah, I'm so glad we had some. Thanks, Grace. This is the exact kind of dish that was made for days like this. Warm, simple, comforting. When I was little and I was sick, I would get Campbell's chicken noodle soup, you know, the kind in the can. Mm -hmm. And I remember always picking around the meat because I always thought, what is this? The meat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like white, weird, chunks of you would just eat the noodles i would just eat the, just eat the noodles no canned chicken for me these stored well i'm i'm impressed the only problem is we didn't grow nearly enough more next year oh so many more carrots well we tried to do a second planting didn't the quail we? ate them the quail ate them because i didn't get them covered fast enough with yeah tarp or with um paper lesson learned lesson learned they don't bother them in the spring, but man alive did they bug them this summer. I won't make that mistake again. No. These are really fragrant. I mean, you can really smell. Yeah. It just smells like a root vegetable, oh, doesn't definitely. it? Oh, definitely. It's quite pungent. But they cook up so nicely. And they're sweet. They are sweet. And earthy. Like a... Kind of a cross between a carrot and a potato, I would say. And a beet. You think? Yeah. It, does, it has so the, kind of the earthiness of a beet. Hmm. But more subtle. Yeah. I love beets, though. We got a lot of those still to eat through. Yeah. A lot.
Yeah. This will end up being a very local war stew. So we've got one of our roosters. My friend Grace, just down the road, grew these parsnips. Carrots and onions stored over from our garden. Stock made from the rooster. Celery powder made from celery from the garden. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of rice, a little bit of butter. Are you using celery or lovage? Celery. Yeah. Because we did really both this year, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Actually, our celery grew fairly well. We've had a couple good years of celery. Yeah. That's why I made celery powder. Yeah. 